I love that Future is the one to break up all of these monetized friendships. Joe Button gets excited anytime niggas is kicking Drake's back in. Drake? All right, so y'all know Joseph Buttons had to chime in on the Kendrick verse. Speaking on J. Cole and Drake on the Future and Metro Boomin album. Let's see what Big Joski had to say. Make sure y'all like the video and subscribe. I don't know why we the fans have to be deprived of y'all little fucking uh, industry tip, tip taffs, riffs that y'all have. I want to know. Why well, I got to know now? And I still don't know. I still don't know. The why? Like where it started from? Yeah, Nori is the first one to put on my radar that there might be a thing between Future and Drake. Mm -hmm. And I got him half right and half wrong. He was right. Clearly, there's a thing. There's a thing. Mm -hmm. I don't think it just revolves around Drake doing an album with 21 Savage. I don't. That's pretty elementary. Well, no, oh, unless it, 21 and Savage have some real... 21 Savage and Future might have a problem. It's about a girl. I that, think it's about a bitch. That we don't know about. It's, it's about, about a girl. It's about a girl. It might be about a girl. Listen, it's to, about the, a girl. listen to the intro. It's about a girl. We're going to get to the yeah. intro. <laughs> it's about a girl. We're going to get to the intro because that was telling. Very telling. Uh -huh. He's made references Stop pillow talking. Album. But go ahead. He always do it in the intro. It. Listen. I, I thought it was ass. I read the whole shit at listen, first. Good verse. It was trash. Yeah. This it is. is a good it's verse. Good. A I see people. I see people out there trying to step on the verse. It's really good. This is a good fucking set it off verse. It's a great verse. If I'm setting it, yeah, he did a great job. He did. I ain't gonna lie. He did. And I come in here all the time and tell y'all, I hate them phony clicks that y'all fucking do. I hate them. I hate when y'all walk center stage, hold each other's hand up, Except and start kumbaya. sucking dick. <laughs> y'all do it every it wasn't for show you. in every city. Yo, you inspired me. Yo, you the best. Yo, it's how you want me it's to my suck brother. this? It's my brother. Yeah, you just not your fucking brother. You're my brother, man. It's not your brother. I'm so sick of the fucking Khaled All-Stars and Cole with this shit. Cole don't want to do that shit. <laughs> he got to do it because it's fucking Drake and the Barrettes. <laughs> it's Drake in his stupid muscular astronaut outfit. <laughs> you got to do it. But nobody wants to do that shit. I love that Future is the one to break up all of these fucking monetized friendships. Mm. Yeah, nigga. All of the Drake All-Stars that niggas be too scared to press Drake about because now that's Fut uh, that's uh, Ross, that's Khaled, that's Young Thug, that's the whole crop. Can't do that with Future. Hey, all them niggas. Travis, you phony-ass nigga. That's what I mean. Travis that fucking rolling out. Oh, play this one. Play this one. Play the diss. That's what he did? Yes. He play the this was the song. Uh. Travis, play the... Not Travis sicko mode. Drake Travis. Not Drake and Travis from that bullshit on uh, Travis laughter. Not that. <laughs> Not you hopping around on stage like a fuckity fuck saying play the Drake diss. I hate these phony friendships. <laughs> Enough of this. Yeah. I'm with you. That's a good point. I'm with you. Can't say nothing about that one. Come on, come on. We got mad real quick. We got a flash. We got a flash. Hate on fucking niggas, man. We want to get back to the verse. Break this shit up. We don't deal with that. Yeah, we break all that shit up. I'm taking it back. I think this is Cole's moment to just end it. End all of this shit. Obliterate this nigga. Thanos. Like, I think this is. That part, too. J. Cole. This is your time right here to, to to show all that shit you've been saying and the way you've been moving. I want to be the best. The setup is right there for you. Mm -hmm. Let's go, like, Cole. Put the fire on his hands. You think you're going to do it? I think he's already I think he's been I think, waiting yes. for it. No, I think he like this right now. Uh, I, 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 throw that piece of paper away. He <laughs> couldn't me, have yeah. asked for a better one over the plate. I'm in recording mode. If he do that, Drake yeah. is pussy. Well, I don't think this is about Drake no more. Like, I don't, I don't, nigga, move over there. I think Drake. this was more of a shot to Drake than to Cole. No, no, I'm, I'm saying that. But I'm talking about And that's about why I'm saying Drake, of, Drake is pussy if you send Cole out there. I don't think it's send he Cole. Can't send, he can't, can't send me. Can't send me. Can't send me. Can't send me. This nigga mention my name. You, you don't got to give me permission to I am trying to, to be the best. I, that is all Cole keep telling y'all. I don't want to be mentioned with none of you niggas. You send him out there alone. 
I'm not saying. But then it's going to look corny stop. if they I'm do not, it together. It will. It's going to look corny. It's going to look corny. Let Cole, make individual records. Yes. Let Cole Cole this. Yes. What if he don't? What if Cole don't? I don't think it's a I can't if. even vision yeah, where he won't do it, yeah. honestly. Just in everything he's been showing us, the way he's moving, you he couldn't have asked for a better present. If I'm looking at the clock and going by time of possession, I do like Cole here. If because Cole is in the studio, Kendrick is gonna pop out once every. And see, that's the other thing. Pops I don't like. out. Mm-hmm. Even though he I don't do think, it, I don't like that. I don't think that Kendrick has a project coming. I don't think there's another. I don't see it. I, I don't. Uh, I don't see it. Nor do I think there's another big project where he's gonna be able to make this type of statement again. And I think Cole and Drake are probably both coming at some point. I th- this was a great verse. Mm. Be clear. I don't want to shit on the verse. Please don't, Ice. I'm not. This ain't enough for what Cole been doing. It ain't. This that, is not enough. It's not supposed to. He's he's just he's just throwing it this out a, there. This is the warm up. Yeah, it's the warm up. I, 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 I'm I did I'm one of you in the conversation. Oh, it's the best shit. No, no this no, does no, this no. don't move Cole from the top of the food chain it for me. Nowhere near it. I don't. I think J Cole right now got some turkey bacon somewhere in a bowl of oatmeal like that. I did want you niggas to say something, but you know, can you come back? But I did say a few pods ago that for me, Cole is at the top of that food chain now. You did. I'm looking for Kendrick to try to change that. You said that. I think Kendrick may hurt me. <laughs> now, first off, I appreciate all of these guys' opinions on rap, but we got to address this. Number one, Joe Button gets excited anytime niggas is kicking Drake's back in. This is not a podcast where Drake is ever going to get a fair shake. I'm just being real with y'all. Because the whole conversation, even though, like, to me it's obvious that this diss is more about Drake than J. Cole. Now, did he shade J. Cole? Yes. When he talking about uh, Prince Outlive Michael Jackson, to me that's a, a, a double diss. First off, it's like, J. Cole, I'm Prince Drake is Michael Jackson. You not none of them niggas. You not. It's it's really between me and him. But at the same time, nigga, I'm Prince and he Michael Jackson. It's more about Michael Jackson. It's more about Drake. So for these niggas and and Ice talking about, I might have cut this part out because of course I'm not gonna play Joe Button's full audio. This is his podcast. I just want enough to critique. You know what I mean? But. At one point, I says, oh, this is J. Cole's opportunity to show all that shit. Like, dismissing Drake as if he not excited to hear what Drake got to say. And I'm going to tell y'all something. I have sat down for years waiting for niggas to top that Drake lemon pepper freestyle. And then after that, he doubled down on the, uh, on the, uh, who's the white boy? The Jack Harlow verse. That verse he did on Jack Harlow's album. Those are two verses I don't feel like Kendrick and J. Cole have touched. I think Kendrick came close. I love when they call me out. I love when they call... That that verse was fire. I shed tears on that verse. No, no cap. Like, I'm a fan of J. Cole and Kendrick, okay? And I love that J. Cole verse on the Benny the Butcher song. But those two verses do not match the lemon pepper freestyle verse for me i'm sorry when drake be rapping that nigga take me out of my house it's like virtual surround sound it's like the apple headset that nigga take me to a whole nother realm when he rap i know a lot of y'all not gonna agree with that but overall i just don't like how these niggas was speaking as if when drake put out his response it's not gonna be the best thing since swiss cheese it is nigga I'm waiting for Drake. Am I going to be excited to hear what J. Cole got to say? Yes. But don't count out Drake. So with that apart, I do like the smoke that Joe Button gave to Travis Scott. I feel like that was needed and it's very important. Not Mr. Sicko Mode. Not Mr. Every Time Your Album Come Out, I Got to Get a Feature on It. These niggas do be playing fake friends. But I see, I don't think Drake and Future's relationship was fake. And I like how they started mentioning, yes, it's about a girl. And I told, But I told y'all this first. 
Go watch my video. I told you I did 20 minutes about like that. And uh, we don't trust you album. If, if you a hip hop fan, you need to watch that. And you see, they talked about Big Sean. I brought up Big Sean first. I told, I'm not going to say what I said. You go watch the video. But I told y'all about Big Sean and how he f factored in, in into this conversation. But I said, yeah, I do think it's about a girl. Now check this tweet out. Now, first off, I want to let y'all know, this tweet has 600,000 views. I'm just letting y'all know, I would not be reading this to y'all if this was some random tweet that some random girl put out and nobody paid attention to it. 600,000 people paid attention to this tweet. And this girl said, Drake and Future are beefing over Amber from the trap. You know how many of us in there eat dick? Be for real. She has a man as well. Laugh my ass off. Now, I'm assuming this girl works at Booby Trap. Booby Trap is a strip club in Florida, all right? And so this is the girl that people think Drake and Future both was fucking, and maybe Drake did some sneak dissing. And see, also, when you hear Joe Budden talking about, oh, what could he have said? See, he dropping his own little hints about his beef with drake and i'm not gonna go too far into that but allegedly drake and joe button was beefing about a female you see what i'm saying so now joe button is laughing because he like yeah he didn't probably did the same shit to future as he did to me allegedly all right so this is what the streets are saying about this future beef it's a girl named amber at the booby trap i haven't been able to figure out what she looked like um, I did see some people speculating that it's the same Amber that exposed little baby a couple of days ago, but it's just been really nasty on Twitter as far as these girls exposing Drake every time he DM a bitch and they talk about, look, Drake DM me. It's, it's getting real nasty out here. So that's why I really wasn't trying to get too deep into this theory because this girl could be capping. And I also think it's crazy if you work at this same strip club with Amber, if I was Amber, I'll walk in uh, today and tomorrow because today is Saturday. Yesterday was Friday. I meant today and yesterday. I would have walked in the club and smacked the shit out of you. What you on Twitter talking crazy for? And I was really waiting to see if she'll delete this tweet. She ain't look. She ain't deleted this shit yet. It's a whole day later. You know, usually if you're going to delete a tweet, you, you give a nigga about 12 hours, you know, a day. She left this shit up like, oh, yeah, I said it. So y'all let me know what y'all think about this. I still love Joe and Ice. I had to give him a little a little, a little smoke in the beginning because, you know, Drake is my goat. Okay? Let me know what y'all think. Like the video and subscribe. I will see y'all next time. Peace.